Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain all kind of render in this software. I have prepared this scene for render and I explain the environment, HDRI, sun, and other things. With this arrow, you can close it. You can close it to better see the render environment. <coughs> in a render menu, we have three modes of render real time, F4, that's the before, fixed, and 2 file. Where the, the difference between them is this. When you click in F4 or render, as you can see, we have a uh, real-time render. You can click and drag and render it. In this above, as you can see, we have a statistic uh, information above the rendering here. Important thing is SPP, sample per second. It goes in, uh, up to the excellent. It has not limitation here. Let's go to 100 to 2,000, 3,000 to best quality. As you can see, this quality of this render is going better and better and better. If you, for example, <coughs> as you can see, all of the blurs, all of the noise, they are gone, and the render is going better and better. This is SPP. Any any time that you move, it's go to the zero and increase to the uh, higher level increase to the excellent quality <clears throat> another thing is image size we do not specify the image size it, it specified itself it means exactly this size of the screen is your image size other thing is this lock if you click here as you can see it's a <clears throat> slider here it's green and uh, we can uh, specify this time and it goes here and automatically lock the scene if you can you can click it anytime that you want and now you cannot click and drag and change your view to uh, render going to the final result and here we have a button you can stop rendering you can pause rendering and here we have an image image effect. After rendering, you can assign the image effect, or you can unlock that, or you can uh, uh, give a area to render. For example, I like to this area. Click that, and then click and drag. And as you can see, just inside this region is going to the render and the, going to the best quality. And the outside that does not render and it automatically lock and you cannot click and drag because it's fixed here and for full rendering you have to go with this button you can uh, stop the region rendering it's very nice if you have a big scene that you want just uh, render inside that area okay you can go full and after that unlock to change in views Okay, SPP from zero again uh, starts going up and increase and increase to better quality. This is real time engine, real time render. We do not specify SPP, we do not specify the image size. So what is SPP in F4? In this image, you can see the SPP is very important to quality your image. We have a lot of noise here. With a um, sample, low sample and with a higher sample, we have better quality. Of course, if you increase the number of the sample, uh, we have more time to, uh, we need more time to render and more resources from your PC to render. Hit F4 again. In, at any time that you uh, satisfied with your render, here you can uh, capture this scene for exporting you can use this you have to use this if you click on it you can uh, type any name for your render and you can specify which format png jpeg or hdri you can save your folder <coughs> any time your pc that's it this is real time render another mode of rendering is so going to render is a fixed. The difference between the fixed and real time is this. If you go into the render, I will explain more about output setting in a next lesson. But here in our output, we can change the off, we can change the output format, any output, JPEG, PNG, VTOP, background, which background. 
And here we can specify the image size. I specify the image size in HD or you can type any number that you want. That's it. The fixed render, if you click and on it, as you can see, this specify the exact image size that I uh, specify there in the output city. You can see it here. <clears throat> but we do not specify the SPP. It's going up to better and better rendering. As you can see, it's automatic lock and you cannot unlock it. And it goes and goes to the better quality. As you can see, it's locked. For exporting this image at any time that you want, you have to click again on the capture view image. Okay, this is fixed and you can stop the render. So in a real time, we cannot specify the image size. We cannot specify SPP. In a fix, we cannot specify SPP also, but we can specify the image size. To file render, if you click it, you can specify everything you want, custom setting, and hit render. In output format here, you can specify with uh, JPEG, PNG with background, without background, this background that I explained. Before you can choose your image size or custom or apply denoising, it's reduced the noise of your image. And here you can specify SPP. You can, for better quality, you can increase it, but this number is nice. And here, output folder, click on these three dots and you can uh, define your output folder and then start rendering and it's a start render it's locked and here you can see we have specify our spp if it's go to 400 it's a stop image size hd and this is locked and when it's finished uh, notification will be uh, play and it's open the folder that you render for you you have to see the, here you have to waiting for 400 as you can see if you reach that number it will be a stop rendering and that's it as you can see it open for us and it's automatically named for us that i explain how to change that okay this is a uh, difference between real-time render fixed and to file in this software it's very fast high quality render in simlab composer it's awesome and you can see the very uh, in important settings in this uh, bar in statistics information here. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.